A few weeks ago we had a chat to Rosie about world dancing where men and women up to the age of 90 learn international folk dances from all around the world. Today we continue our chat with Rosie and we meet some of her participants. So let's go dancing with Rosie. <laughs> Now here we have Jan who's been coming to World Dancing for a while. Hi Jan. Hello, hi Carol. <laughs> How long have you been doing World Dancing? Um, I've been dancing for about eight years now. Wow. Yes, yes. And why do you enjoy it so much? Oh, I, what can I say? It's just fabulous. Um, it's just done so much for my well-being, my everything about it. Yeah, I've, I've sort of come here, it's my happy place, I don't think of anything make new friends, connect to community, um, apart from getting fit, the beautiful <laughs> dancers. Yeah, it's, so, a, it's a joy, it's my happiest time of the week. Yeah. And what would you say to somebody who's never tried it before? I can't speak highly enough of it. For me, it's changed my life. Right, well, yeah. that's fantastic. Yeah. So hopefully some of those people will, will get off the couch and come and join you. Yes, yes. Dance, dance, dance. <laughs> <laughs> well, I so came to dance very late. Oh, how, how old when you started? Mid sixties. Mid sixties. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. So you're never too old to dance. Is no, that right? no. Always wanted to, and yeah, finally got here. Never looked back. And how long do you think you're going to keep dancing till? As long as I can. As long as I can. <laughs> yes. It all been well. Yes. So there you go. Even if you're in your mid sixties, never been dancing before, give it a go. Yes. Jan's a perfect example. <laughs> <laughs> so Rosie, tell us. You know, this show is all about age is just a number. Tell us about your oldest person who's been doing some dancing. Well, I have to say, a couple of years ago, we had a lady that was in her 90s. She's so inspirational. We've had teachers, actually, that I've trained over the years at my dance club where they've started training in their 70s. So, and because they love it and it keeps your brain active and it keeps you youthful. Uh, what do you like about the world dancing and the international stuff? International dancing is a, it's a wide variety of dancing and it's quite good. Your physical activity and brain activity is really good at our age. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so when you say our age, you're obviously over 50 because the oh, show yes, is yes, over 50. Yes, 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 I'm over 50, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you I'm, say to anyone sitting at home that... Don't sit at home. Come and enjoy as well as exercise as well. Be active. Someone's sitting at home and they're on their own. So if they want to come in on their own, they don't need to bring a friend. They can just turn up, can't they? You don't need a partner. That's the last thing you need. Bring a friend. That's always inspiring and makes you motivated to keep each other going. But if you can't, um, come on your own. Give it a try. You'll love it. Um, what do you say to someone who feels like they're really uncoordinated? Um, hang in there and you'll become uncoordinated. <laughs> you'll become coordinated, you mean? Yeah, I mean you'll become co coordinated. That's yes. <laughs> you need to start with the beginner's class and yes, then yes, you'll be yes, away. Yes, yes. When I first started, I had two left feet. Uh, I never thought I'd continue, but I just went on and on and on. And, uh, I really love it. <laughs> so how long do you think you'll keep doing it for? Um, hopefully another 15, 20 years, I hope. So do you mind if we ask how old you are now? My next birthday I'll be 18. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Four score years. Yep. <laughs> Big party. Yes. <laughs> and you'll be doing some dancing at your birthday? Yeah, I reckon so. <laughs> and there's a good social interaction as well. Oh. They, they go and have coffee and that afterwards. Oh, yes. Like well, the friends that we've all made, it, it's... It's just the best thing that's really come out of it as well. The groups that have got to know each other, the coffee afterwards, even even out of after the classes, out of the weekends, we get together, we've made friends and people that live alone especially. This has been a very, very important um, activity for their um, mental health. Now you've got a particular interest in dementia and Alzheimer's. Can mm. you just um, t tell our viewers a bit about how dancing is going to help with all that? Well, my classes especially I design at the very beginning, the beginner's level for people and I, and I do stress to them that we're here for a reason, not just for the love and the passion of the dance and the music. It's a matter of learning sequences and the more sequences you learn and the more you memorise those sequences, the more pathways you're opening in your brain. 
So it's about learning something you've never learnt before. If you're doing the same activity over and over, that's not really opening any pathways in your brain. It's like learning a language and learning a language while you're moving. So your brain is learning something, but the movement associated with it doubles the effect. So now we've got another couple that have been coming to World Dancing for a while. We've got Tony and Fun. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi there. <laughs> Hi, Carol. So how long have you two been coming to World Dancing? About three years now. Great stuff, isn't it? We love yeah. it. And we were looking for something new to do on a Friday and uh, something different. Yeah, here we are. And we heard about Rosie. <laughs> so we love it. Yeah, it's a great, great day out. Yeah. So what have you got out of it? Um, I think we just just a lot more social contacts, keep fit, um, and learn some new skills, and keep the brain going. Keep the brain going. So, what about you, darling? Uh, well, Tony's to trying to get his rhythm half the time, <laughs> doesn't he? That's what he's get out of it, and he's learned about his right foot and his left foot, hasn't he, Rosie? Um, yeah, certainly a lot of um, social interaction is really good for your brain and it's really good exercise and you don't even feel like you're exercising and the music's really gorgeous and the teachers you know we love we love the teacher she's gorgeous <laughs> so tony what would you say to someone who has two left feet that uh, is thinking about coming along and trying to join don't worry rosie will soon make them two right feet and they'll have a great time <laughs> i'll say that they won't be as bad as tony so don't worry he's the worst one <laughs> so uh, how long do you think you'll keep dancing for Indefinitely. There's no reason to stop. Many yeah, years to come. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. And uh, as long as Rosie keeps going, we'll still keep coming. So let me ask you, when you're out and about at um, live events and live music, do you ever just jump up and break out a few moves? Um, well, we're hoping to go overseas to Greece maybe next year, so I think that could be our chance to shine with Rosie's many dance skills. And <laughs> after a few years, those, I'm sure we can do a good Greek number. <laughs> I'll probably say to people to come because it's really good exercise and you have a really good time. You don't even feel like you're exercising. So it's good for your body and your brain. And I was saying there's probably people sitting at home thinking, I should get out and make some new friends or I should maybe get a bit more active and maybe this is something I could try. What would you say to that person sitting at home now thinking about it? Absolutely. It's the best thing you can do for yourself. You'll make it's fun and we and I always say to everybody we've got the, the most important muscle you use are these so you must smile when you come and walk out feeling absolutely refreshed and invigorated and made a new friend and it's just a, a passion that I adore. <laughs> well we can definitely see your passion and there's that beautiful smile so you're living your own example of what you're talking about so thank you very much everybody uh, Think about it, coming along and trying some world dancing or international folk dancing. Rosie's definitely the, your girl to come to. Just get out there. It's good for your brain. It's good for your body. Most Are you inspired to take up world dancing and to keep those joints moving? Movement does matter. And if you'd like more information on Movement Matters with Sally Castell, or dancing with Rosie, please go to our website, carolahelleran.com. Join our Facebook group, Over 50 So What? And subscribe to YouTube, Over 50 So What? Keep those joints moving. I'm sure you can do five minutes a day. There's plenty of five minute fitness videos on YouTube over 50 so what remember to keep your joints strong and supported do strength training and keep them mobile through moving i'm carol over 50 so what watching our TV show. Be sure to hit subscribe and then you'll never miss an episode. Jump on Facebook, join our group, get in on the fun, fitness, wellness and inspiration. 
I'm Carol, over 50, so what?